So anyway, guys, welcome back to the boat gang. All right, uh, we got the Ducks Force 35 out here at the park pond. Okay, I got a little treat for you guys. Uh, I'm actually excited about this. I actually threw the XLX2 in the Delta Force. It's a temporary setup, okay? I've got the water cooling run, all right, coming from the top of the speed control there. I've got it paired up with a 1900 kV rocket motor. Uh, that rocket motor, it's, hopefully the hydro don't smoke it. I'm, I'm actually going to run a big prop <laughs> and I've got the SRD 8000s in the boat. Okay, I've also got the SMC 9500s in the boat. Uh, running QS8 connectors on the Hydra. All right, 8 millimeter bullets. I uh, got it all binded up, calibrated. Now, if you're interested in the binding and calibration process, I'm going to include that at the end of the video. I was going to start the video out with the calibration and binding process, but I decided to kind of do it backwards. If you guys want to see the calibration and binding and kind of a quick install, it's at the end of the video. Now, my SMC SRD V2 speed running drag packs just came in. These are going to be for the uh, blackjack 42 now i actually got the square packs okay they have a larger tab we're going to do a review on these video on these here shortly uh they got longer longer tabs they should have a better discharge okay uh and they actually fit in my blackjack 42 perfect it's a consolidated center of gravity so i can keep all my weight up forward in the boat okay i got two 4s packs 250c okay but today we're going to run the, the 9500 22 6 S pack HCL HP and the SRD 8000s. I'm excited you guys so stick around big B with Ironclad RC I was gonna put the X450 on like I said I was gonna run that prop but I'm actually gonna run this uh, Oxteen 48 four pitch it's one of my actually one of my favorite props on this boat it goes nothing here goes nothing <laughs> All right, so uh, it's breezy. The wind's blowing on my back, so the wind's coming from this way. You know, uh, you can see a fountain, man. It's it's blowing. So this ESC is going to be, be able to give this motor, or I guess the motor is going to be able to take everything it wants from the speed control. <laughs> you know, 48 millimeter prop XLX2 first run. Oh. Those are the 8,000 SMC SRDs. Oh, I wanted to go to the freaking speed run spot. I picked my two best 6S batteries to come out here with too, you know. Oh, I wish it was nice. All right, wind's blowing on my back. You can see it in the fountain. Wow. Got to be more careful, boy. She'll jump out of the water with that set up. <laughs> Yes, sir, buddy. God, jeez. Oh my gosh. It just jumped completely out the water. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get the 42 build. I got the uh, the strut on. I got the um, the servo in, the motor uh, mounted up. Uh, she's about there. I just got the 42 hole today. I didn't have any work today, so I was able to work on it all day. Yes, sir, buddy. So, like I said, this motor right here, it'll only it'll only do so much with this, you know, with this motor. Let's get us another speed run in. Usually, my temps are like in the 170s with this prop after running a whole battery. On the ESC, you know, 170s. The wires are like 150, 200. <laughs> Full trigger. Got to be more careful. If you guys are looking for a good basher ESC, this might be the ticket. You ain't got to worry about temps on the ESC. Uh, only the motor, you know? Got to be more freaking careful, son. Oh, it woke this boat up. It woke this boat up, son. I'm not sure what the, the default low voltage is set at, so we'll, we'll bring it in, check temps. 
Oh, I like it, you guys. I like it. My temp gun is not... I guess the batteries are dead. It's reading 253 degrees on my hand here. You guys see that? So, uh, we're not going to be able to check temps. But the temp on the motor felt pretty good. Um, 64 on the speed. The battery voltage is at... Like I said, it's all default settings. I haven't messed with anything. 381, 380, 382. So the batteries are discharged. Okay. All right. Let's throw the 9500 in. Okay. And I'm going to put the X450 in on the boat. Made me a little jumper, a little jumper loop. Okay. So I've actually got the X450 on. It's cut down to like a 49, 48 and a half, something like that. Uh, with the RC boat bits 175 and this motor with that prop on, nothing's been changed, nothing. With this battery, I got 67 miles an hour in the park pond the other day. 67, okay, with this prop, motor, and battery. The only thing I've changed, literally, the only thing I've changed is the ESC and upgraded the bullet to a from a 6.5 to an 8 on this motor, okay? That's the only thing I've changed. So if we don't get 67 miles an hour on this run right here, then uh, something's up. Something's up for sure. <laughs> You know what I mean? 67 in this pond with the RC boat bits. <laughs> it definitely has some low end torque with that prop. Yeah, the, te the ESC temperature was like room temp, you know, it was room temperature. The motor, on the other hand, the motor was warm. <laughs> this motor is nothing for that ESC. All right, let's see what we did there. Okay, let's see what we did. Still got plenty of battery left. This is that 9500. Plenty of battery life left. I'm gonna open this hatch up. 70. Okay, 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 okay. So we got 70. All right, so uh, I picked up a couple mile an hour. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So that's more like it. That's more like it. All right, 70. All right, with the X450 on. Okay, so <laughs> that 64 kind of had me worried there with that Oxteen prop, because I normally get a little bit better speed with that Oxteen prop. You know, um, yeah, the, the motor's good. Hell, the ESC, the ESC's not even, you can't even feel it. You can't even feel the, it's like lukewarm, you know? The motor's warm. She's warm, not hot, but she's warm. All right, so let's mess around. We still got plenty of capacity left. So we picked up three miles per hour in the little pond. You know, once we go to the speed run spot, I'm sure we'll pick up a few more. And uh, it feels like the wind's died down now, geez. But uh, it was blowing. When I went there, man, it was rougher than seven hells out there. Pretty. Pretty. My boat's a little bit heavier with the speed control, you know? Probably about 80 or 100 grams heavier than, than the uh, RC boat bits I had in here. Man, that thing's got some power, boys. Yeah, so 
if I were to put that 1900 kV TP motor in this boat, I've run this boat on 8S with that TP motor. It's a freaking beast, you guys. It's a freaking beast. I had a 4050 I ran in this boat. I had a 4060 I've run in this boat. Two different 4060s. And, uh, man, it, it was, oh, oh it's, it's ungodly. On 8S, it's ungodly. On 8S. Pretty. Yep. So uh, that I should I should be able to get I should be able to get a maiden in on the blackjack 42 this weekend. You know. Oh, it's so nice to be able to do this and not have to worry about power cuts like with that RC boat bits. You know, in this motor, the props I run. You know, I have to worry about uh, power cuts and stuff. This is oh I, man, I got to get another one of these bad boys. So this oh man oh man. The binding process, calibration process, was really simple. I'll, um, I'm going to put out how to solder out, how to solder up Q8 connectors too. You know, if you guys are interested. A little cool down here. I'm going to do a little cool down run. A little cool down. Can't cool it down for long. Do a couple cool down passes just to cool that motor down. You know, with a big ESC like this, and it'll get it, it'll give a motor everything it wants. You gotta make sure you cool that motor down. You know, do a couple little slow laps, kind of cool, cool the electronics. Make sure you got cooling, you know. Full trigger, full trigger. Oh, 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 I flipped it. All right, let's go get it. Oh, you guys see that? Oh, I did it again. To be more careful. So there's no reverse from the factory, you know? Got to be more careful. Golly, boy. I bet that motor's smoking, son. All right, let's bring her in. Let's bring her in before we smoke something. <laughs> oh, I bet there's gonna be some smoke. I wish I had my temp gun on, man. Jeez. Oh, why did I forget the batteries? Oh, she's got a little smoke. Huh? Oh, the GPS is dead. Oh, man, the GPS was off. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's check the voltage real quick. A little bit of water in the boat. That speed control should be 100% waterproof. Voltage on this 9500, 373 boys, 372, 374, 374, 373, 375. All right, all right, uh, the ESC, golly, it's not even hot, man. It's not even warm. The wires, the wires aren't even warm. The motor's a little warm. <laughs> the motor's a little bit warm, but it's not hot. I mean, I can hold my hand on there. 
I would say if I had to guess, the motor's maybe, uh, if I had to guess, maybe one, 120, maybe? The ESC, I would, if I had to guess, I would say it's around 100 in the high 90s. That's how cool it feels. I mean, it's not hot. The, the actual connectors, the connectors is the hottest part. The connector is the hottest part. And it might be this 10 gauge wire I had to put on here. On this uh, jumper loop right here, it's a 10 gauge, which is actually a big Castle Creations 10 gauge. It's not 8 gauge like the one I used for my, my, um, my series connection you know this is actually it's an eight gauge but it's actually a small eight gauge the wire is big but the sheath around it is actually low profile thing is an absolute freaking monster okay 70 miles an hour in a little pond so uh you know i recommend this esc for boats in a 30 to 50 inch range okay uh if you're gonna go over 50 inch it needs to be a lightweight boat okay if you're doing speed runs and you're like plateaued out at a certain speed you can't get over that hump this might be your ticket boys this might be your ticket okay uh you need to make sure your motor's up to the task but but you guys just seen it run on a rocket this motor is like a 60 or 70 dollar motor okay it's not expensive if that if that 1900 kv okay uh you seen it run it and it didn't smoke it okay i, I had it propped up okay now my hobby star motor it it would probably smoke it with that big prop on it's a cheap cheaply made cheap materials the the, the copper's thin but uh it, it that motor held up okay um if you're wanting to bash if you're wanting to bash a boat like the v2 the the hell the 36 geico the velez i mean um this is a basher esc all the freaking way you could prop with the right motor you could prop your boat all the way up boys you ain't got to worry about temps when i i wish i had my temp gun just so you guys could see how how cool the esc was i'm telling you guys it's already right now it's and it's been about 10 minutes it's already at ambient ten temperature like I, I don't even think it broke 100 degrees this motor wasn't shit on this boat speed control the water cooling rate worked good i actually got the big nipples on okay i didn't use the stock nipples that came with it i used the extra nipples i got the eight millimeter bullets on q8 uh hooking up the esc i'm gonna actually the next video out i think i've already mentioned it i'm gonna upload uh how to solder up the q8 connectors i recommend the q8s they're actually super easy to solder okay easy to work with simple um and it was actually easy to hook up now once we get into the data logging and setting parameters with the esc that might be a little little tedious at first but once you get the hang of it man it's the options are freaking endless with the hydra you guys i i really recommend it and if you use the link in the channel in the description there uh it actually helps me out it's through horizon hobby which i actually recommend getting your speed control through horizon hobby i got mine from ose uh they were actually out of stock when i bought my esc at horizon hobby so uh, uh, use the links it definitely helps me out awesome speed control cool temps plenty of power uh yeah man yeah so i'm gonna include like i said the 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 binding and calibration procedure that may help you guys out i'm also going to do that the same calibration and binding on my blackjack 42 that'll be in an upcoming video so uh we'll, we'll kind of do it twice i guess so um yeah yeah i love it i'm freaking stoked about it man um extra three mile an hour at the small pond and once we take it to the speed run spot which next pretty day uh, i'm gonna try to get it to speed run spot in this boat because i want to try to break 75 with this with this boat you know what i mean so uh thanks for watching you guys big b we're gonna collect rc I'm gonna go over the whole setup real quick with you guys okay I've never hooked up an XLX2 before so I'm going over everything all right um, I've got my remote on Delta Force I've got my QS8 hooked up positive to the square side positive to negative to positive square side to negative okay series Okay, I got my bullets hooked up. Now, I don't have heat sink on my bullets yet. I've, I've uh, just got them sitting there. They're not going to move. Okay, they're they're good. They're separated. 8mm bullets hooked up. 
Uh, I will put heat shrink on them. I was just make. I just want to make sure everything's right. Got the throttle, which is the brown and yellow wire. RX wire is the brown and yellow. The auxiliary wire is the white and brown. Plug the RX wire into the throttle. I've got it in the throttle right there. And the auxiliary wire into three and four. We've got it on three. Okay. Calibrate your ESC to your radio. Okay. So uh, my my it's already binded. So I'm, I'm just gonna rebind it. Go through the whole binding procedure real quick. Okay. I've got a fire extinguisher here. Just in case something crazy happens. Okay. Uh, I don't even know if this would put out a freaking lipo fire, but it's here just in case. All right. So here goes nothing. I would love to run a single pack hooking this up, but I've got twin 3S packs success. I haven't had a chance to make a uh, jumper. These things are huge, you guys. These are some big ass connectors. All right. So uh, so that's good. We got the switch right here. It's ready to go. Okay, here goes freaking nothing. So I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to hit the bind button. Oh, I guess I don't need to hit the bind button. Oh, there we go. No fire. <laughs> No fire, no fire. Damn, that was easy. I already had my receiver binded up to this boat. I was going to do the whole bind process, but I guess I don't need to. Okay, so uh, we're going to calibrate it. That was freaking easy, you guys. All right, let's calibrate it. Okay. Full throttle. Reverse. Right, left. Save. All right. So that should be good to go. Let's do a throttle calibration. I calibrated the throttle in my remote, but it's actually calling for a throttle calibration uh, manually. Okay, so we got batteries plugged in. ESC off. Remote on. We're going to hold full, thr full trigger. Okay, when we power the ESC on, there will be a green light, green, yellow, red, a bunch of, and then it's going to go full green. Okay, once it goes to red, you go full reverse. Once it goes to yellow, neutral. Okay, so let's do it. Got full trigger. All right, once it turns green, and then you'll see a red. Go full reverse, full reverse, and then now neutral. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> yes, sir, buddy. This is a temporary setup, so I'm not like permanently mounting all my wires and all that stuff. Hell, I don't even have a Castle B Link or uh, any kind of programming method right now. I'm waiting on my. Um, my castle link to come in uh I th yeah i don't have a castle link i've got the old programming cord for your computer you know with the old mamba monster twos or whatever but i don't have either one of these so i can't program anything so it's actually perfect in this boat we, we can run it. It, it it was saying it's ready to go like basically out the box you know if you want to start doing data logging and all the all the fun parameter you know timing and all that good stuff like uh throttle curves and everything you're definitely gonna have to hook up your uh castle link or the b link i might get that b link because i use my phone a lot so so yeah hopefully that helped you guys out you know you guys got to see it run you got to see how to calibrate how to install it um i've got the q8 connector how to solder those up coming out in the next video um it was an animal at the park pond today you guys an absolute freaking animal man Check out the links. Oh, that thing's boss. Guess what came in the mail today? <laughs>
hadn't had work today so i actually got quite a bit done i got all this installed i got my servo in radio box motor mount motors about to get mounted up working on the stuffing tube so uh hopefully this weekend we'll have the hydra in this bad boy and i'm gonna try to get this thing out to the speed run spot tomorrow so you guys can see, we'll, we'll see what it can do with some real props on it you know so uh thanks for watching you guys hopefully this helps you guys out you got to see it run you got to see a freaking uh install or a piece of an install calibration and all that we'll see you next time big b what i quite rc